bronze Bavarians. Have you all enjoyed the weather? Yes, yes, yes finally. But you've obviously, uh, we need our winter coats now, don't we? Because it's all changed. There we go. Never mind, never mind. We've had a summer briefly, haven't we? Anyway, thanks for coming. <laughs> Who's here for the first time? Who's here? Oh, wow. Look at that. Never seen so many virgin Bavarians in the room at one time. That's, uh, that's great. Well, look, I'll give you a couple of minutes, and then if you want to come up and make yourself known and uh, <laughs> give us a talk for 15 minutes, if that's okay. Yeah, no, 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 I won't do that. I won't. Um, but uh, yes, uh, anyway, enough of that chit chat. Uh, what I really want to know is do we have any Generation X's in the room? Generation X is kind of late 60s to early 80s. Anyone kind of in their sort of 40s, 50s? Yeah, couple, couple. There's a, oh, there's a few, there's a few. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, actually, not, maybe, yeah, not, I'm kind of not surprised there's not that many because, frankly, it's a miracle that any of us, because I'm a Gen X, it's a miracle that any of us have made it this far, really, isn't it? Because we raised ourselves, didn't we? We, we did. We did. It's absolutely true. Uh, we, we did. I never even met my parents. <laughs> Honestly, the, the kids today, don't they? they, they uh, I think, is it helicopter parents? They're known as, they, they sort of hover, don't they? Um, well, honestly, we didn't see our parents. The, uh, in fact, they're more like sort of space shuttle parents. The, uh, you never see them, and when you do see them, they explode. Uh, they sort of get your elbows off the table and all that. The, uh, but, and we were, we, we were proper latchkey kids. You know, we were the real deal when it comes to latchkey kids. Uh, I can remember my mum in the summer holidays, 8 o'clock in the morning, so she'd, say, she'd say to us kids, right, out you go. Out you go, and then she'd lock the door. Uh, <laughs> it's absolutely true. And, and we couldn't come back until after dark. But not only that, <laughs> not only that, it's true. Uh, I'm not making this up. Gen X is wave, you know it's true, don't you? This happened to us. The, uh, we, we were sent out for the entire day uh, with nothing. We didn't have, you know, you didn't have a lunchbox or anything. They didn't get, just out you go, and that was that. And uh, I, I was thinking, how did we survive? Well, all I can remember. It is that we used to drink from garden hoses. That's, that's, that's true. That is, that's what we did. That's how, we, and then we didn't eat. We didn't eat. We just waited until we got back home after dark. But that was, uh, and do we have any millennials in? Because uh, they're kind of like, ah, uh, oh, okay, they, they, uh, there's, uh, there's a few. They're sort of, I think, in their 30s and 40s, they're kind of like uh, early 80s to mid 90s. Uh, you're the hipsters, aren't you, really? Uh, that's what you are. And uh, you gave us skinny lattes uh, and smashed avocado. Uh, that's what you did. Because uh, up until you came up, we didn't know what to do with an avocado. We thought it was a bowl for a prawn cocktail. That's what we thought. Uh, and, then, uh, and then you told us we could eat them. And, uh, okay. um, and then, uh, but, but you also, the thing is, the thing is, what you also did is you gave us seeds, didn't you? Uh, and frankly, I mean, now... Essentially, seeds and nuts, that's what you did. And I'm, I'm sorry to pick on the two of you here, but you did put your hands up. Uh, and as a result of, maybe it's not just you, but as a result of you millennials, we now have to consume just everything. It's just made of seeds, isn't it? Or it's dusted with seeds, you know? Just, uh, look, I, I know you can't get on the property ladder, but enough of the seeds, you know? The, uh, um, anyway, yeah, that's millennial. But, and do we have any boomers in? Boomers were kind of like, oh, there we go. Oh, look, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? No, I'm sorry. The, uh, but you're kind of like uh, late 40s to sort of early 60s, aren't you? That's, uh, that's weird. Yeah, you, you're the smokers, aren't you? The, uh, that's what you are. The, uh, you probably got, got, got fags on the go as I talk. And so you think, oh, but I uh, better not. You know, you'll be out in the intervals. Uh, that's what you're the smokers. Uh, and also, you gave us hatches, didn't you? Because I grew up in the, do you remember hatches? The, uh, they, they were like the early form of the kitchen diner. Uh, for people that couldn't quite afford to take the whole wall down. Because growing up uh, in the 70s, we had a hatch from the kitchen to the, to the dining room, the sitting room. We did. So people were looking at me sort of confused. But we did. Millennials just go, what is he talking about? No, we did. You had a hatch. That was because the boomer generation, okay, they, they, they're responsible for the hatches. They didn't want to go as far uh, as knocking entire walls down because all they had was hammers and fags. That was it. Uh, so they just gave us... Uh, it wasn't until, it wasn't until we kind of came of age, the Generation X came of age, uh, and we had, uh, I think we were influenced by changing rooms and uh, Carol Smiley and Handy Andy. And then, and B&Q came along, we got power tools. We just took every wall down, didn't we? just said, oh, that's coming down. Uh, it is a miracle that, you know, maybe this is why there's a housing crisis, because it's a miracle there's any houses even standing. Because frankly, the interiors are made of MDF, so uh, I, I don't know how that happened. Um, 
But yes, and then there might be some, you know, we have any Gen Zers in, any Gen Zers in? Oh, look, there's a, I do know, thank you so much for coming. I didn't expect to see you. Uh, I'm very surprised, but very grateful. I didn't expect to see any Gen Zers in because I haven't got an app. There's no bad luck about an app. So I, um, I kind of thought, well, we won't, they won't be able to find it. Well, they'll be walking around outside with the phone. Where is it? Where is it? And, uh, because you're the internet generation, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes, I'm getting a sort of, uh, getting a, 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 a vague nod. No, you're the internet generation. Um, and, and I know this because I have, a, I have a Gen Z daughter. Does anybody have any uh, Gen Z parents? You, you, yes, you know my pain. Uh, the, uh, I, I have a Gen Z daughter, uh, and I know that uh, you could only function with apps because my daughter, uh, she can't even go to sleep without an app. That's that's it's absolutely true. The uh, you know, my generation, we just take our clothes off and get into bed. Uh, but we're old school, uh, and, and that's what we do. But we don't need so many apps. But uh, the other thing, and now I don't know if I can say this uh, uh, to when there are Gen Zers in the room. But, um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not having a go at you two for, thank you for coming. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you are a bit namby-pamby, aren't you? Can I say that? <laughs> I've just said it. I've just said it at the town. I've said it. I've put it out there. Well, it was soft as kittens, I think. Maybe that's, uh, that's probably a nice one. Because, the, uh, well, and, and this is true, because if, if we compare the games, you're laughing, which is good, so I, that's good. You're not going to make a complaint. <laughs> um, if we compare games that, that uh, you know, between our generations, the, uh, and this is why I say it's a miracle that, that any Gen Xers are in the room, because our games, they, you know, we call them games, they weren't games. They were kind of apocalyptic survival training. That's what they were. We, we used to ride bikes. We didn't have a helmet. We just, we just, we just rode our bikes. No helmets. But we didn't just ride them. What we then did is we'd go and kind of borrow or nick wood or plywood with nails in it. We'd make ramps. And then we'd take off on our bikes and, and see what happened. No helmets, you know, that, that, that was that. And, but not only that, the, uh, when we went to, uh, to playgrounds, Playgrounds, they were designed to kill us. It's not <laughs> true. I'm not joking. Because they were made of concrete. You know. Your playgrounds are made of cotton wool, aren't they? That's, that's what I we In fact, we know that because they're even called soft play parks, aren't they? Um, but, you know, if we came off a ride, uh, in, back in my day, it was 50-50 if you would ever make it home. You, you would spend the rest of the day in A&E. That's absolutely true. Uh, I spent more time in A&E growing up than I did in my house. Uh, but if, if, if you, lovely millennials, Gen Zs, if you come off, came off a ride, or the Generation Alpha, I think it is now, that you just bounce, don't you, into the arms of your hovering parent. <laughs> That's lovely. Anyway, right, that's enough. Thank you so much for coming, uh, and I hope I haven't pissed off too many people, and don't mention the nabby-pandy thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> right.